angular js <coughs> so here uh, there is an attribute named ng hyphen click so in this session uh, we are going to create an angular js application ng I, in this application i just uh, add this uh, ng hyphen click uh, as an attribute to a to an html button element and then i do uh, the, this button element uh, this ng hyphen click uh, will hold the will hold a variable that would be increased uh, each time whenever i click this button all right so let's see in the angular js application so here in this session we are going to see the directive named ng hyphen click uh, this uh, directive is used to uh, bind the application data to the attribute of html dom element uh, so here uh this uh, in uh, i mean uh, <coughs> we are uh, we are going to add this ng hyphen click as an attribute to the html element any html element all right and pass it a model i mean uh, again we are going to bind the model to the, to the html uh, to any html element and and see the variation right so the that's what we're going to do already to save time i already i have created the application ang dom that's the application name angular js application name here you can see web app underneath you can see lib folder and in this lib folder i have placed the angular js files um, and uh, underneath web app i have created an html file named index.html file this html file uh, you can see the title um, i have given ng hyphen click okay that's that that would be the page name so here underneath body i have created the div element and this div element holds the attribute ng hyphen app app so data hyphen ng hyphen app uh, so which uh, uh, here we, we make use of the default uh model all right angular model so in this what i do uh, i'm within uh, i have created the table so within this table uh, i create a row that is using tr okay and here td i uh, within this td what i do <coughs> i'm going to create a uh, input element okay and this input element uh, it holds an attribute named type here you can see it uh, many options when i give type key in uh, type and then when i key in equal it shows a list of uh, attribute values right so here i am going to select uh, okay i'm going to select button okay that's it and <coughs> and i i use the ng hyphen click okay that's the directive we are we are here to see so this directive ng hyphen direct ng hyphen click is used as a as an attribute to the input element button all right so ng hyphen click equal within double quotes i use <coughs> count count equal count plus one okay <coughs> so count it's a uh, variable and which is assigned with the uh, with the value count plus one so every time when you click every time when you click on this button then this variable would be 
this variable value would be increased by one okay um, i i close this input element okay here uh, choose exclamation and the warning symbol give the data hyphen so that that would be removed and then here we need to add one more uh, <coughs> Just to display again TD. Okay, here we go. This one more cell, right? TD uh, element is used to add the cell. So here use the curly braces, right? And what you do, you already you have uh, the count value. Uh, there is a variable variable named count, right? So that count uh, give the variable name here, so that that would be displayed on the view page. Okay. So what what we are going to see on the view page when we run this application, we will see a button named uh, let's see or we can uh, the value of the button right. We need some uh, some text so the button should have a name right. So we we are going to give it here. Um, I just give count, okay. So uh, on the view page, we we will see a button named count, okay. We will see a button named count, okay. And every time when you click on the that button, right uh, beside, you will find the value, uh, the numbers. How many times you click on that button? That the, the that many times a number, that uh, that number value would be displayed on the view page. Okay. Uh, how, how come it got displayed on the view page? Because we you we make use of this data iPhone ng iPhone click attribute that holds the value variable name count equal count plus one. Right. So that's the reason it happens. So let me run this. So uh, again, uh, to run this, what I do? Alt Shift X, and then click on R, press R, and then Alt N, and then select the J Angular JS application name ANG DOM, and then Alt F. See now you can see the page name is NG iPhone Click, right? Why? Because we have given uh, the value for the title element as ng iphone click right and then you can see a button named count so here uh, within the table we have used the tr element and then td element and within this td element i have used the input element that is um, i have created the button using the input element right this button uh, is assigned with a value count so that's the reason you, you can see a button named count okay and then uh, this uh, input element this input button element which holds uh, an attribute named ng iphone click data iphone ng iphone click uh, in turn this uh, attribute data data iphone ng iphone click in turn it holds a variable named count equal count plus one all right so every time uh, when you click on this button that uh, the, this variable would be this va variable value would be increased all right and then uh, and this again in the another td cell i just print the value of the count on the view page all right that's it <coughs> so i'm going to click on this and uh, obviously i'm going to see the um, number how many times i click on uh, uh, click on this button that uh, that many times the value of that number would be displayed on the view page so i am going to click one see here you can see the value one right so again next time i am going to click on two next second time i am going to click see you can see the second number two value because I have uh, you can see the two value because I have clicked this button twice. Now three. Now you can see three. You can see the number. Again, let me click on four. 
five you can see five right and one more time six you can see six right so <coughs> so that's the purpose of uh, <coughs> that's a use of ngf and click attribute all right so this session we have seen uh, what is ngf and click uh, what's its use and uh, how do we make use of the ngf and click directive in an angular js application that's for the session thanks for watching bye